Hello there. Hello. Howdy, y'all. How y'all doing? There's a Kim Kim Marie. Kim Kim Guru. A Miss Mary Brewer. And a Joyce Boring. And a Mama B. <laughs> I'm not going to mute anybody, Moo. And a Moo. -wenna. Hello, Moo. Winner. I saw that you got the ink I sent you. Is it the right type of stuff you were talking about it being oil based? Yeah, Moo. Is it the right type of stuff? Hey, Mama. Hey, Tina. Happy do, Miss Wanda. Hey, what's up, Wanda? How is everyone out there in chat room land? Gotta say, not liking this top chat bull crap. <laughs> Yay, I got her the right stuff. Awesome! Hey, Carrie. And no, I'm not talking to myself, although I do <laughs> do enough of that. Well, hello, Carrie Thomas. Uh, now we need little C, and we'll have the three uh, Camigos. Camigos. I don't know. It sounded good inside my head, <laughs> but only for a short time. Yeah. So, tonight, don't know what all we're going to be getting into, but I'm sure I'll make a mess of it somehow. Uh, but first, we're going to start with some um, painty papers that I received in the swap, and some happy mail, and then we'll do a little, little, just a little haul stuff, and then we'll figure out what Carrie can't do. <laughs> or I'll give it a good old college try. <laughs> Wait, you didn't go to college. Yeah, I did. Well, all right. You didn't. No degree, yeah. but I went. Okay. I is. You as a much agitated? I were a college student. All right. Uh, did 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 I say the package arrived? I well, don't think it did. Let me. Ow, I just poked myself with the exacto blade. Har har har. Because you didn't put it back. No, I did. Uh, it's in there the way I want it. If, yes, blade up. Yeah. So I poke myself? That's yeah. not fun. Yeah, it is. That's not fun. It is for those of us watching. <laughs> yeah, all right, fine. You got me there. Can I continue now? No. Yes. First one is from my good buddy down under, Miss Tanya Kowalczyk. And she put a little note in here. Saying it's her first time making painting papers, and I have to say, awesome. You only get better the more you do, and she started out very strong. So I'm no uh, Picasso with painting papers, so you know I'm not going to judge anyone. <laughs> so uh, I give her big props for wanting to get in there and do it even though it's not something that she's done before so awesome and i know uh she's still on her uh road trip with her husband uh they're doing this huge uh walkabout but on a motorcycle yeah nice uh -huh. so that ought to be I, I don't know that i could do that i think i would get so tired of sitting on a motorcycle for hour upon hour but that's just me and she was even thoughtful enough when she packaged all this up to remember that my birthday was coming up. Aww. And she sent me a little card, little teddy bears, and happy birthday. And it's from Tanya and Ed. That's so, so cool. Thank you, Tanya and Ed. And she sent me, it is black oh, obsidian, wow. and it's in the shape of, I guess, an arrowhead. But That's it's hot. very pretty, and it's kind of translucent a little bit on the edges. It's hard to get the right angle. We can try. No, sorry. We have multiple camera angles. I'm not coordinated enough <laughs> for that. It's a wonder I can do anything in a mirror. 
Well, I'm just saying. We have multiple angles. Should have poked my eye out by now. Alright. So, it's very faint, but some pretty glittery flowers on there. And then this, I don't know what she did, but it's eight shades of awesome. Oh, that is so cool. It looks like the nervous system. It, I don't know. I, like, I don't know. I know it's like a tissue paper, but I'm not sure what she used. Because in her note, um, lots of glitter, paint, do-it-yourself, water-based ink, different material materials. I tried creating one. So... She did a little bit of everything, but that's really cool. Yeah. And oops, very glittery, which I wish cameras had better glitter pickup. That would be nice. <laughs> Lori, we're always 730. She says, y'all are here earlier than I thought you'd be. <laughs> <laughs> and then this feels like a napkin. Oh, wow. And very pretty colors. Very Eastery. Eastery looking. Well, you know, Easter is coming up. Yeah. And those look like airplanes. I don't know, but also very glittery. Yeah. They look like airplanes, seriously. And some more glitter. Can't go wrong with glitter. And this one's really pretty. Mmm. Must be some of her water based. Mama B says, love that. Yep. And there's flowers again. A little bit darker that time. And then, can't tell, but I can tell there's sparkle. Mm. <laughs> yeah, those are one of those things that, uh, that you, it, it's kind of hard to pick up on just how bright and shiny it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Joyce says it looks like geese. I still say airplanes, <laughs> like Boeing 737s. And got some faint outline of some flowers and more glitter and a lot of blue. Can't go wrong with blue or glitter. Oh, man. This feels either like a baby wipe. And it doesn't smell like... Or a dryer like, sheet? It doesn't have any smell to it. So wow. So I'm assuming it is a baby wipe. And yep. you just can't. You you just can't justify how awesome those colors are. And it they kind of so almost vibrant. looks like tie-dye in a couple of areas, which no. is really cool. Yeah, I, I want that. <laughs> Please, give yeah. it to me. Yeah. I yeah. deserve it. Yeah, these poor lights just wash this stuff right on out. Well, we can turn them off. Turn them down even, too. And this almost looks like the water marbling. Hmm. And some more glitter. <laughs> Kim Marie says, ooh, butt wipes. Yes. Nice. <laughs> and it looks like some more water marbling. I'm trying to figure out what type of paper that is, but I can't can't tell. But I think first go around, I think she did all, quite all right. I want to see her do more because that stuff is nice. Yes. And this one, in person, it's like super glitter. Mm. <laughs> you kind of see it reflecting a little bit, but yeah. it's really bright. And then she did a doily. That's cool. And it, it is muted, but it's, mm -hmm. it's very cool. And then before she did that, or because she did that on here, you get the oh, outline. Oh, that's so cool. And is that uh, embossing paste or mm -mm. texture paste? Mm -mm. Okay, It's just inked? Mm -hmm. Cool. And we're getting into some bigger ones. Mm. Screams doing something weird. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's happening here. It just seems to be that camera. And just like that, it's fine. And this looks like bubble wrap. Hey, Andrea. What is happening? Am I holding it too close? Is that no, it? you're fine now. <laughs> so I'm not holding it close. Okay. That's just really weird. I don't know. 
It is possessed. Hey, Jillian. Man, we've got some people in here. So that is from Miss Tanya Kowalczyk. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you, Tanya. Hey, Laura. So get them back in the envelope. And Linda Trey. <laughs> hey, Piffers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Linda. <laughs> we are Piffers. We're a Piffering. And We've got more. Then. I got. From Miss Wanda. Oh, man. Bailey, who went above and beyond. Put a little extra goodies in there. So this is a part of Mama B's, or uh, the 70 Acres Art Flock uh, uh, paper, uh, painty paper swap, correct? Yes. All right. Got some really cool die-cut snowflakes. Oh, wow. We need to get those dies. Yeah, I know, right? Speaking of dies, you've got some good stuff. Yeah. That's coming up, dude. Chill. All that and more coming up next. Washi tape, because you can never have enough washi tape. Even though I never really use it that much, I like collecting it. I, I've seen you use it twice. Yeah, I like collecting it. <laughs> it's kind of like when I was a kid, I had a sticker collection. Still have them. They're in a box. Are they Lisa Frank? Majority of them oh, are. Oh, yeah, Lisa baby. Frank. Yeah. <laughs> and then some... Very cool tape, and one has what looks like a, a lace in it, mm. and then the other one... And that looks like scotch tape. Yeah. That's <laughs> it's wicked. really cool. I've never seen that before. I know <laughs> she sent Mama B some, but I have never wow. seen that before. Not that that means anything. I'm not... Uh, you know, Linda Trey says she's not a fan of washi, so you might as well just toss them now. Uh, no. Right into the trash. No. <laughs> I like washi tape. I like it. Oh, man. Laura Mack has had snow for the last two days. Where are you, Laura? We've had 75 yesterday and 81 today. Like, it was so beautiful. And it's February. I don't get it, but it was so beautiful. Oh, Miss Wanda said the snowflakes aren't dies they're laser cut no oh, wow. longer available stampin up doilies Ooh. so those yeah. are collectors at doilies well see now i'll never want to use them this one <laughs> and we have some very pretty doilies i've never done anything with doilies i've always looked at them i've always picked them up like mm. They're pretty, but I don't know. Now I know I have some that I can play with and see what I think. Yeah. Oh, wow. She's in Vancouver, Washington. Damn. Oh, we're getting ready to get, I think, three days worth of rain. You don't even stay. Just don't say that. No, it's not true. It is true. It's not true. And then I have a book that I can use the papers to make pretty. And uh, watching... Um, Dances with Pitbulls today, Rebecca, she said something I'd never heard before, and it makes sense, and that is the older the paper, the better it is to either spray with glimmer mist or mm. do any sort of painty anything with, because it actually takes and will suck in the color instead of it just kind of laying on top. So, well, yeah, it does make sense. Because so the, it's like, sorry. well, okay, that makes sense. So now <laughs> that means I have to go trolling for old books and old paper because <laughs> everything I have is new. Can so. I can I tell you why I think that's that makes sense? Why? Because uh, as the uh, as, as the book sits there as the paper sits there the top layer of it which is you know your your smooth coating your whatever it's it's turning to dust uh it you know which is why it gets all dusty and stuff paper dust and that leaves the uh the the layer remaining uh easy and susceptible for moisture and then i got some you very just, cool. fine all right just i'm not dumb <laughs> Some really cool notepad paper. Gotta love the dog. Easy breezy. 
Love it. Love it. Love it. So cute. And anything with a dog is. Woof. <laughs> All right. Now. I think Miss Wanda is a glitter fairy in another life or second job or something, but you're not going to be able to see it on these cameras, but there is just oodles of glimmer and shine mm. on these papers. And they are just really super pretty. Yeah, that's amazing. You I mean, with the paper laying in this angle, from my point of view, I can't even <laughs> hardly see the picture because there's so much light reflecting back. <laughs> Off of the glitter and the shine in there. Are those old or are those current, you think? Because um, they look old. This is from February 2018. At least oh. this page is. And I'm okay. guessing they're all from probably the same publication. Oh, I can still do the crossword puzzle. <laughs> cool. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> I know, right? And then we're getting... That paper just is wild. I love that. I'd love to see you do a video on that. I'm trying to figure out what type of paper that is. It just, it doesn't feel like paper paper. Um, it's like, it's paper paper, but it feels like it's had like, uh, something with latex, something with plastic or rubber in it sprayed um, on it. Okay. Maybe it could just be a thick layer of, you know, something. Yeah, Medium. super cool. I love it. And kind of flip past these real quick. Mm. And then we wow. Got this one. Uh, printer paper. Okay. Mm. Very pretty. These look jelly pleated. Wow. Uh oh, Moo says she's just been offered old computer manuals. May have to painty paper soon. <laughs> we have a bunch of old computer man like programming manuals and reference guides to CSS and whatever. And I gave it all to Carrie. I said, make something beautiful out of it. And I like that. It almost when the first time I looked at it, I was like, did she use the bottom of a shoe? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Because it looks like shoe tread. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a boot. And I was like, that's pretty ingenious if that's what she did. Because mm. I was like, I know Miss Wanda did not step on that. <laughs> and then this one, it's hard to see. I can see it on screen right now, but I can't see it when I look at it from that angle. Yeah, it almost looks like wallpaper. Yeah. That is really cool. I like that a lot. That's got a very uh, Indian look to yeah, it, it right did. there <laughs> mama b says that's exactly what i thought and there's the same stencil just darker wow and i love that she's old spreadsheets and stuff like that that's just <laughs> super cool. it's nerdy i love it yeah hmm Oh, that's trippy. Yeah, it is. Holy cow. <laughs> that is way trippy. Yeah, I like that. Oh. I like that one a lot. Oh, that's Cubert right there. <laughs> that is so Cubert. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. Hmm. Wanda, you are a pro. Yes, she is. Yeah, Moose says, Wanda, you are going to be in demand next swap. <laughs> I want to be partnered with Ms. Wanda. <laughs> no, you got her last time. That was Miss Wanda. I got a package from Janie Sills. We'll get to that later. <laughs> uh, we might get to it now because I don't know where I'm at. Uh... Other painty paper person. 
paper went. The problem with wait a minute, I think I found it. Yeah, yes. Alright. Yeah. Then from one of my other swap partners, Miss Kelly Rickman. She mentioned us today on her video. Well, I'm mentioning her now. Kelly <laughs> Rickman. Coffee cup crafts with Kelly Rickman. Yes. I believe so. Looks like there's stuff. So she was bound and determined mm. to be double creative. Oh wow. <laughs> Both sides. A lot of metallic. Love it. I mean that's like a twofer. <laughs> And some bubble wrap. And then this is... I think it's almost like deli paper. At least that's what it feels like. And got some stamps or stencils. I think she had said she was using hmm. dyes. That's crazy. Crazy lady, because yeah, I crazy. wouldn't get paint on my dyes. Hell no. <laughs> hey, uh, Carrie. Yes. Uh, inquiring minds like Lori McGarity want to know, what mm. are we doing tonight after mail? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. Already then. And we got some more. Oh, is that a salt shaker or something like that? It almost looks like a... Um, oh, one of those uh, cream... Fr no, it looks... You know the old in the like science labs where it's glass and then it's frosted here with the stopper yes, and the tightness. Yes, 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 yes. At least that's what yeah. this brain goes to when she sees it. So I don't know. Her day job is a meth cook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the more you know. I, I love the sound. Mm hmm. And this is all on, I'm guessing, deli paper. <laughs> Moose says, Lino, Lino, Lino! Lino, Lino, Lino is Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday that way, if Friday, I cut off Friday. a finger, I have all weekend to recuperate. <laughs> I'm not that silly. <laughs> I can't come into work tomorrow. I cut my finger off. Just the tip? And it'll probably be more than that. Uh, oh, yes. Linda Trace is an apothecary jar. Yes. That's exactly Thank what you. it is. Yes. Couldn't think of the word, but I knew what it was. I like that word. Apothecary. Remember, that's the type of some of the... Table you want, I know. You want an apothecary table for your storage. Yep, all the little bins. I will work on that, but you know you're going to have to help me build those bins. No, that's your job. Get to it. I have um, other things to do. Wow. I'm going to need to set up some stop blocks on my miter saw. Because it will need to be a miter. And I love this side. It's yes. super metallic -y and shiny. That blue is just a perfect, yes. perfect hue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Moose says, ah, the blade should stop at the bone. Yeah, well, you know, it'll be my luck. It'll be right in a joint to where, you know, can't bend your finger, can't get it wet, can't do this, can't do that. And, you know, when you have to type and shower and wipe your butt on a daily lori do not give her any ideas she says good way of getting out of packing carrie <laughs> you know what carrie mm. ain't gonna happen i'll make you pack even if you're dripping blood all over i've already been doing that oh my god it's not what i was talking about i don't i don't need any help in that department you need to beat the devil out of it. <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. That's really the most fun part of it. Uh, all right. Last of the mail call. And uh, this we is... have books. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so penultimate well, mail let's call. Well, do, let's do the books. And then we'll do the other one. And from Miss Janie Sills, da, 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 da. crazy lady that she is. Well, she contacted us, I think, on a Saturday morning. Yes, she had. She, you know, she had been to a 
uh, thrift store and, uh, you know, uh, on, during a Friday stream, she was like, I'm going thrift shopping. I was like, see if they have any golden books because we love them things. And uh, so she called us on a, a Saturday morning or Facebooked us and uh, she told us, yeah, I've got a ton of them. Uh, you know, how many do you want? And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I said, you know, 20. And I think, Carrie, you were taking a shower or something like that. So I just kind of guessed. Do you think your mom would want any? And I was like, oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, get her 22. And uh, so uh, I said, just, you know, hey, let me know what I owe you. And uh, you've got the shipping address. And next thing I know, I'm still waiting for an invoice. And <laughs> these show up at our door. Exactly. So, uh, Miss Janie, I know you're, I don't think you're out there yet. But uh, you need a, to send us an invoice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And let him know how much he owes you. Yeah. <laughs> but she had asked, you know, well, what tape do you want? And I said, well, if you can find anything with your gee, I wonder why. I don't even know that I could do anything with it because it's got your on it, but we'll give it a go. And I said, and I like Disney. So. I mean, and they are in excellent condition. Every single one of them. It's almost like they were bought for a child who just never even touched them. I mean, you might get a little dog ear here, but other than that, I mean, they are in supreme condition. So. It's just amazing how many of them she was able to actually get. Poor old Eeyore. So sad. I don't know what I was smoking, but I called it Fantasia when I first saw it. Yeah. Even though I saw that it was Anastasia. An An Anastasia. Anastasia, that one, yeah. And we got some good old classic Disney, like Pinocchio and whatnot. Yes, Moo, they are exactly like the Puffin books. And got a couple of dupes, which that's all right. Because if you really, you know like the book you have another one or if you mess up hey you got another one and knowing me i'll probably mess up oh you hush when have you messed up all the time you lying woman the tigger never was a big fan of piglet he just annoyed me tiggers are a wonderful thing and then last but not least we have another a grand and wonderful day and a Bambi. Good old thumper. So I think I have enough uh, golden books now <laughs> to last a good long while. Thank you again, Miss Janie Sills, and your Send awesome, me the invoice. awesome thrifting skills. Yeah, because that was a huge find. I don't think we've ever seen them there at our local stops. Or if stops. we do, you you know, the, some kids colored in them and ripped them apart. Yeah. Oh, wow. Moose says, I had a dozen of these books. May still have them under the spare bed. <laughs> so, I'm all boxed back up and they'll be ready to move. See, I'm packing, honey. Yeah. I'm packing. <laughs> Look at me go. All right. <laughs> Lori says he's too happy and peppy for you, Carrie. <laughs> How Pig true that is. Who, Piglet? <laughs> yes. Piglet's a whiny little dog. I can't stand him. He's not uh, happy. <laughs> he's neurotic. <laughs> the only one that's happy in that whole group is Rue, Kanga, and Tigger. That's it. No, 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 no. Not right now. But I want to show them not, what you got. You've got to wait. We're All not right. on that portion of the show. Gosh, it's not like you give me show plans. Yeah, sure I do. The next bundle of awesome 
is from the one, the only, Kim Marie. Holy cow. Crazy lady that you are. We will get to this little bag of sweetness in a moment. It's a little bag of evil. <laughs> but I mean, look at this. Oh my god. And you know, if we're framing that, she she complains that they multiply. Well, I've had this envelope now for a couple of days, and they haven't multiplied Kimmery. She's lying. Because I could do with a stack of papers like that high from you, because oh, yeah. quite a few of these will probably turn into beads. So. <laughs> hey, Spanky. And I really love this one. Yeah, the, on the, the camera just doesn't one. do it. Camera just does not do it. I, I mean, love both of them. Like we should get frames, and I'm not kidding about that. <laughs> they could, they would look great going down the stairs to the studio, like on the on the wall. Hold on. Wow. On one side, but you flip it over. Oh no! There's more. <laughs> and then this one. Love it. Oh. And this one. Love it even more. <laughs> I love the red contrasting with the blues. I mean the the camera is like totally changing the color that this is. But it is just gorgeous. And this one, Kimmery, were you thinking of him when you did that one? Considering it's <laughs> geek yes. related. Like, I could sit there and read that. It's extremely aged, but I would get it. And I really love this mm. one because it, love blue. Love blue. And, and purple, too. Which you don't see too much of. No, not in the camera you can't but it's there and it's so pretty mm. see and i can i can make frames <laughs> i can i can make homemade frames uh moo even says i'm framing a few painting papers to add to my wall harbor freight she's been thinking about pj again <gasps> teasing with some tools <gasps> Oh, I love me some Harbor Freight. You, you, you know that. You know, people have been asking for, uh, you know, hey, you know, do you have a, do you have a, a what do they call it? A register? Are you registered with anyone? You know, talking about housewarming gifts and stuff. And it's like, no, nah, no, nah, we can go out and get what we need and and whatnot. But you know what we really would like? Gift certificates to Bed Bath and Beyond, Home Depot. Because there's two of them within five miles. And, yeah, and then, you know who wants the Home Depot, right? Hey, you want me to build stuff for the house? I'm no, going to need Home Depot. We can just buy stuff for the you house. You shut up. <laughs> and I love this one. There, it, there. It's just, uh. <laughs> and like I was saying during Mama B B stream last night to Kim Marie, I was like. The only thing I can think of is, oh my god, look at the beads that these papers oh. would make. See, I wouldn't want you to rip them apart. Maybe like a strip or two, but that's it. <laughs> I would not want you to rip those apart. Those are too nice. Moo says, do we have a Bunnings? And no, we do not. I mean, just the depth that she gets with all the different colors and stuff, it's just, wow. Mm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> just awesome. I love that one behind it. Yes. That's a big old tie-dye right there. Ah, it's an envelope. Oh, wow. So I was like, oh, what happened? And then I was like, oh, envelope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the brightest bulb. And see, Kim Marie is saying that we should go for the beads. But again, there's some of those I do not want you ripping apart. They're mine. I want to I want to frame them. Dude, our house is not that big. We've only got so much wall space. Uh, 
And beads will last a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> you have beading issues. Yes, yes, I do. And then this is just a huge page of awesome. What the hell is going on with that camera? It's like whenever I do anything too big and too close to the camera. And yeah. this is uh, wicked cool. I'd like to interrupt this show to thank the Manchester Presbyterian Church <laughs> uh, for their lovely bell service this evening. We actually have the windows open because it's hella nice. It's about 27 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's about 70 degrees, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's amazing. And so we've got the windows open, but that means you can also hear the bell service. And that's not what we want. Hello, Tammy. I hope the new house doesn't have a church anywhere nearby. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> Although it'll probably be like, it's too quiet. <laughs> Well, I think Time Magazine just uh, rated Baltimore City the uh, da most dangerous place in the world. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Which is so stupid. Now, granted, we live so far outside of Baltimore City. We're literally a block away from, like, the Kearney area. So, it's the county. It's not even. So, as if all the papers weren't enough, Miss Thang also <laughs> sent... A zippy bag full of awesome. Oh, wow. Well, we were about six the other day, Moo. Uh, it was it, like, like Friday, Thursday. It was like six degrees there. And, uh, let's put you over there. It's just been the last two days that it's been really nice. That is me. <laughs> yes, yes. And so is that. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. And pick one. It's PJ somewhere in his hasn't shaved or needs a haircut look. Which one am I now, huh? Um, Got hmm. some scruff. I am not that bad. <laughs> Fine. I'm yeah. not a lumberjack. I'm not that bad either. <laughs> Never played too. Uh, what was it? Be a beer pong? No, yeah, never I, played no. that. I would suck at it. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> and then all these little strips of coolness. Everyone's saying door collage. See? That's what I'm saying. Everyone but the person who made it and sent it to you <laughs> agrees with me. Kim Marie's like, burn it! Burn it! <laughs> I mean, those are amazing. I mean, awesome little borders or whatever for journal page. Look like monster toes. <laughs> yeah, they do. A lot of toes. Oh. And then. I had resisted the napkin. I had to use one of them because I had to blow my nose. No, you did not. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I had tried to resist the whole napkin, making a napkin journal. But now that I actually have some napkins, I might have to give her a whirl. Use a little uh, golden book and <laughs> do a napkin journal. There you go. Dinosaurs, Rawr. butterflies, and flowers. Butter, butterfly, sugar, baby. Looks like a old handkerchief. What is that? Florida, Flor, Flor. Paisley. Paisley, okay. Brad Paisley, gotcha. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> And I know, honey. There you go. <laughs> you know, I still haven't seen Homecoming, the new movie. Get some leaves. I like those. And that must be for uh, Lucy, because I always <laughs> say she's the princess. Yeah. Hmm. There's some more princesses. Awesome. And the back of it's even oh, wow. pretty. 
And some squozing. <laughs> and the back is pretty. And this looks like a picnic table. Yeah, it does. Tablecloth. This year for uh, Thanksgiving, you've got to make a sweet potato pie. That was delicious. Ugh. I don't know why you don't like sweet potatoes. You're so weird. No, they're weird. You're weird. And I love you. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh, Moo sent me a pic of a Bunnings flyer. Uh, let's see. That oh, is, okay. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of napkins. It looks similar to a Harbor Freight. Yeah. I like it. And then to uh, quote, uh, what is it, Jerry McGuire? You had me at stamps. <laughs> They're one of my major weaknesses along with paper and stencils and you get the drift you all craft too but and I finally when I was looking at these the other night it made me remember a toy I had when I was I think like 10 ish and they were called fashion plates and you had models models and it was split into three different sections you had like head torso legs mm -hmm. and maybe even shoes i can't really remember but you can mix and match all these different plates and it was like raised up and then you would put them in this thing you know in whatever order you wanted you take a piece of paper put it over you put the thing to hold the paper down and then you'd use wasn't a crayon, but it was wax based, and you do like a rubbing on it, and you would get whatever model you made, and you could sit there and color it in and whatever. And that's what this reminds me of, except that you don't get the options to change their attire. And I was thinking, you know, I need to look on eBay see if, see if those things are even around. But. I never saw them, but I remember the commercials. I think these are pretty nifty. Pretty nifty. Oh, they're even named. I didn't even notice that last night. So, that's Shay. And that's Taylor. And Megan! Where's, where's Megan? Megan, yeah. No! And I got my little card. Uh, our little card, thank you very much. And she only did that to be nice. Well, that's nice enough for me. And I got lovely little ATCs. I like the little lace on them. When you're not afraid to be yourself is when you're the most incredible. You're really something special. And then I'm not sure how you made these. Poker chip. <laughs> no, they're buttons. <laughs> and I don't know. I don't know how you did it. Please enlighten me. Because it could be <laughs> an add along to my uh, <laughs> bead making. And we got some cards. We Pretty are going background. to paint the crap out of those sometime. <laughs> so, Kimmery, this was a very awesome thing to uh, find on the doorstep the other morning. Yeah, it wasn't there when we went to bed. I don't know when. No, the hell it wasn't. They up. It wasn't there when we went to bed, but it was there seven o'clock Tuesday morning. Which our mail doesn't even typically run until around noon. Yeah. So I don't know <laughs> what was going on with that. Because later the same day, they came back and that's when we got the books from Janie. So it's like, um, yeah, you all make no sense. 
Hey, what's up, Little C? Uh, now we've got Little C, Carrie Thomas, and Carrie, soon to be Duffy. Right there. Don't cheat threat me, boy. Oh, come on. You've already said you would. Doesn't mean I will. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> then you better, uh, uh, p- please agree to do it. <laughs> please agree to do it. Yes. Pretty pleased to be agree to be doing it. I guess I could. All right, so let me get all her goodies. Hopefully, package. Look, I'm packing again. <laughs> packing again. I need a third hand. There you go. And you know what came to my mind today? It's hard to say. Uh, I think I'm actually going to have to break down and get Pinterest. Oh, jeez. Well, no, I mean, I think it would be really cool, uh, you know, looking at woodworking projects. And I only need to see a picture and I can recreate it. Pinterest is okay. I have issues with... The fact that a lot of times when you click on it and try to go to whatever website, it's either some malicious content that's trying to do something weird to you, or it's in Russian, or Uh. um, whatever it is you were looking for is just gone. And it's like, well, okay. (laughs) I didn't really want to look at that anyway. (laughs) All right. So over the weekend, we were out and about and figured, "Eh, haven't been to Goodwill. Let's check it out. See if they got anything. Moo says Pinterest has gone way downhill. It's, It's just, to me, it's just too much clickbait. Well, I'll tell you what, if you guys know of a better solution uh, somewhere where I can uh, go to get ideas for uh, construction ideas, wood woodworking things, you know, sconces, little shelves, book bookshelves, you know, whatever. Uh, and I talk with my hands way too much. Never mind. Also, I'll put them behind my back. Uh, yeah, just uh, let us know in the comment section or in the chat room right below. Are you done? Yeah. Why are you? Why are you bitching? Because you're holding me up. Dude. I'm not holding you up. You are trying to get prepared. All right. So Goodwill had a couple things. Nothing major. Uh, had some. I don't really don't want to take them out here because they're going to get everywhere. But little, huh. little snowflakes. A year. At least I'll be ready for next year. And I don't have to cut them. And then just rando belt. Flowers. And I have a thing for little containers. It's a boxing. And it's blue, so, you know. (laughs) Mama B and Mary Brewer are both saying search YouTube. Moo is saying Google Images. And I, I look at Google Images, so yeah, there you go. I hate the layout of Reddit, Moo, so I don't do Reddit. And came across, they're from Creative Memories, a couple of punches. It's in their, um, what is it, Place It and Punch It line, I think is what it is. But nothing fancy. Show us. But put it on there. Aw. That thing ain't moving. Magnetic. <laughs> And it's easy enough to squeeze. Show us. Oh, has nothing. Here we go. Now you has nothing. Something. Oh. Let's see. That's gonna hurt my finger. There you go. And that's cool. It helps when you can actually get a hold of it. But again, nothing fancy. But. But you can make uh, nice little uh, geometric uh, wall stuffs with it. Wall stuff? Like, you know how, like, tiles? You can make, like, little tiled patterns. Okay. 
Oh, shit, shit. I just said so. So there's that one. Uh-oh. Moose says, OMG, I have been looking for a punch <laughs> like that for months! <laughs> then this one, same concept, except this one. Things I, can I like this one a lot. Get it out of the box. Then. Ah, you turkey. <laughs> you said turkey. I've never heard you call something a turkey. <laughs> Helps if you put it the right direction. <laughs> And then, and now you have a postage stamp. Kerchunk. Which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, I really, I like that one the best. So. It's my favorite. Five bucks a piece, you know. Add it to the uh, punch collection. That is, I think, up to eight things now so 4.99 plus yeah. tax while supplies last get yours today so that was goodwill um the last time we went to hobby lobby hey jacqueline um i got so wrapped up in those brea brea reese things that i totally forgot a couple of the really cool things and I, or maybe i did show it i don't know i can't remember but got Mama B, <laughs> a rustic rooster calendar that she can put in her chicken journal. And I picked that one out. No, you did yeah, not. Yeah, I did. No, you did not. I picked it up. I said, do you think your mom would like it? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Whatever. Maybe. Yeah. And just like the conversation you supposedly had with Janie was actually me. And I have the proof on my phone if you would like to see it. Oh. <laughs> All right then. I'll and he just, says uh, I'm the crazy one. But uh, yeah, lots of pretty chickens in there. She can do whatever she wants with them. And then I uh, got have a good one, Tina. Called Color My World, and it's just got. I mean, they almost look like uh, mixed media. As it as is. Yeah. So. You, know, you want to sit there and uh, fussy cut some stuff out? You got tons of it to do in this thing. I mean, look at that butterfly. Oh, I love the layers uh, in different colors. So, but yeah, there's easier to do it that way, I guess. Get an idea of what's in there. Whoops. So, I got those, and then, because it was on sale, and why not? Especially when you don't have a lot of dyes. Um, no, I knew I'd open this one. It is by Spellbinders. It is called Ray of Light. Like the Madonna song? I don't know, but... That's wicked. Yeah. And the picture like of a suggested idea of what you can do with it. It's pretty cool. So there's that. And then we had gone to Michael's a while ago. And uh, they had this sitting on a hook that said it was clearance for like three something. But when we got up to the register, they said, Oh no, that's 20 something. Yeah. And we were like, mm -mm. <laughs> you wouldn't want to make a bet. Would you? So they just gave it to us for the price we said, which that works for me. And I think it'll be interesting possibly trying to lay it, do like, a stack of a uh, deli paper mm. because it's so thin anyway. And first off, making it painty paper, deli paper, stack of them and run it through the big kick. And I think that would make a really cool looking flower. Hey, Jamie, Jamie's back. Just have not had the time. And I think I'll have to, Keep that until after we move. 
then this weekend trying to wake up i guess it was sunday yes yeah, sunday trying to wake up sitting in front of the computer and going through email and of course you always get the michael's email and you get the joann's emails and the hobby lobby and here's this sale and this coupon and i was like eh, i'll look at joann's because why not well come to find out they were having a halfway decent sale on um embossing folders which i love embossing folders you don't say <laughs> They were um, originally like four ninety nine. They were on sale for half price, so I got a couple. And figured, oh yeah, embossing folder for. Now you're gonna have to try those this like tonight. I don't know if I'm doing it tonight. I want you to do it tonight. I'll even do it. Hell. But I don't know that I feel like the digging out card stock. Nah. But you know, sitting here looking through it and I'm just casually adding stuff to my shopping cart and get through looking at all of them because I was only looking at stuff that I could go to the store and pick up because I wasn't ordering it and paying out the wazoo for shipping i wasn't doing any of that so it all had to be in stock in store at the one down the road well i end up looking finish looking and i go to my shopping cart and i'm like oh <laughs> hey hon come here and tell me which ones <laughs> to get rid of 43 dollars later so i think two of them were regular price but the rest of them are on sale and i think embossing folders are cool we haven't spent any money on our credit cards lately and i didn't want to show a stagnant so i decided to put it on the credit card i'll pay it off on payday and there's three little border things in here well worth it Birds. Have you heard? I thought everyone had heard. And most of the ones I just showed you are like four and a quarter by five and three quarter inches. But this is five by seven. Mm. Another five by seven, and that's damask, which I thought was really pretty. And then another five by seven that PJ really likes. It's wood grain. Yes, I I wanted that very much. So got a nice little start to that collection. See, Andrea says never used an embossing folder. Can you show how? <laughs> That doesn't mean I know how. I don't know how either. That's inconceivable. <laughs> Here, use the idiot. No, you're not. Uh, I'm not sure if this is what Lori was talking about needing, like the foam, or if that was for the real thin metal. I think metal. that was for the real thin metal. Okay. I think. I have foam somewhere in the pit of doom over here, but I, I, I don't have it in me to go through that. Um, Do the wood grain. <laughs> I gotta find some place to put this up. So, I will need 
since you want me to do this. All right. I need the two clear slidey things. Just the two clear. And the uh, uh, big. Bring it off. Okay. You didn't lose any of my dyes that were sitting over there, did you? Uh, no. So I will have fell. to. Nothing fell. I will have to hurt you. Nothing fell. All right. Oh, we'll accept that. I thought there was. Yeah, there it is. All right. Ooh, Lori says they are so pretty with cardstock covered in aluminum foil and then colored with alcohol inks. Holy cow. Hmm. We have aluminum. Yep. Um, without. Making a huge mess. I cannot promise anything. In the uh, paper case down here is the real heavyweight. You're killing me. Why am I killing you? You're the one that wants me to do this. So here we go. The real heavyweight what? Cardstock. Oh, yes. In the case? Yeah, hence okay. me saying in the case. Um, black? White. White. There is a vellum hat? No. Right there. Oh, right here. And get the aluminum foil. The aluminum? Oh, this is 12 by 12. What size is, what, get, no. The, um, not the top one, the next one. Give me that. Thank you. You're welcome. I don't feel like cutting paper down. If I cut paper down, I'm making beads. <laughs> That's just how that cookie crumbles. So, yeah. And I also got a new, new bin for my paper bead stuff. Because I kind of outgrew the old one. To something that uh, big lots can't go around. Well, oh my god, this thing's heavy. Right. And then the aluminum foil. Aluminum foil. Okay! Run, Art Bitch, run. That's no worries, Lori. No worries at all. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Alright. So which one are you wanting me to do, dear? Um. The wood? Wood. Right. You know, men in their wood. Mm. All right, now, Miss Wanda, you're saying to mist the paper with water before running it through, and Lori's saying to cover the paper with aluminum. <laughs> what am I doing? Somebody please tell me. I don't know. I'll do the gears next, Mama B. As soon as I get these staples out of here. So, in other words, don't do the, don't do the tree with the, um, what you call it, the aluminum foil. Do the gears with the aluminum foil. Gotcha. That makes more sense, actually. Gotcha. I can do that. As soon as I can figure out what I'm doing. No water fusing foil. 
Alrighty then. I like the tree. I love the grain. It'd be nice if we had some like coffee stained cardstock for the wood. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, well, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you might find. You now get what you need! <laughs> Should I miss both sides of said paper? Or just one side? I'm assuming both. We shall do both. And uh, we'll over there. And then you go. And there you go. I'm running out. Oh, it's suspenseful, get it? I always wanted to go ka ching. <laughs> Kind of like an old typewriter when you get to the end and have to send it back. Uh huh. Ooh. Oh, wow. Mm. That is so cool. Can you see? You want to see? Yes, I do. Wow. It does really thin that paper out, too. Oh, I think it's because of the. Uh, Moistier. Moistier. Be moistier. Moistier. And Lori says, no, not both. You don't want it to be wet. It will tear. Didn't tear. I didn't spray that much water on it. Jamie says she loves to um, ink the embossing folder before sending it through. Hmm. It's a shame you don't have a at least an A5 or uh, 8.5 by 11 version. That would be wicked. Of this? Yeah. Yeah. They, they did not have it. Why must you eat every time we do a stream? You know, <laughs> you don't have to, like, announce it. You eat every time. I snack a lot. A little small <laughs> stuff, but I snack a lot. A little small stuff. Whoa, paper. That looks like wood. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> It's the inception. Alright. So that was the wood green. Lori says that one always seems so uh, deeply etched. Um, well, maybe it's just beginner's luck. Maybe it was um, because it's a, a really thick paper. What is it, 120 pound? Oh, that paper? Yeah. No, it's just cheap old. Uh, 80 weight? Michael's. 65 pound. Oh, 65 pound? Wow. Mm, cheap old Michaels stuff. Alright. So. Next on the list is the gears. Yeah, I gotta see those gears. gears. Give me the gears. Gears, gears, gears. Alright. I left my thing of thingamajig in the bedroom. Need something to get up under there. Instead of me breaking my nails trying to do it. Mm. There we go. Alright. Yes, yes, you will. Skizzers. Did you ever give me? Oh, yeah. yeah, of course I did. Don't even. Because the <laughs> last time you said, Oh, I don't have your scissors. Where were they? Um, 
on my desk. There you go. Why Carrie can never have anything nice. Uh, don't you even. Lori says, good place for a thingamajig, PJ. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. All right, so. Do it. Should. <laughs> your pie hole. <laughs> we do have pie. We still have pie from last time. So do you just do one layer? I'm guessing. Or do you... Go around. Let's probably go around. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do enough. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Because we're going to take and cut this down. Yay. I'm probably still. Yay! Look at that. So why'd you have to get your mom all riled up wanting pie? <laughs> well, Mama, I'll tell you what. Um, maybe Carrie will make dump cake when uh, you come visit. I'd like that. Because I'd, I'd like me some dump cake. That's some delicious stuff. Downside is I can't tell where the edge of my paper is. Lori says wrap the edges so it will stay where you put it. Ooh. Um but I'm but, just conveying the message. But then it's gonna wrap over on the others. <laughs> <laughs> Too tired it me. will become like a card in itself. Oh, it's so good puzzle. Yeah, we'll try that. Larry will fuss at me in a minute. <laughs> will it tear? Will it look geary enough? In order to find out, you'll have to wait until we come back. Yeah. <laughs> Crank the majiggy. Assuming you leave the foil in there. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm guessing you would leave the foil on there. That's wicked cool. You gotta show. Show. That is so cool. Yes, it's meant to stay together, says Lori. So what presses together stays together? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but it, not really. Well, yeah. All right, I get the gist. So you couldn't... Sorry, I'm running stuff through my head. <laughs> Mama B says, EPIC! So, an embossing folder. How much can it withstand? Could you put... Like pieces of like an aluminum can in there. Oh, that would be so cool. Or will it destroy the the embossing folder? It might because it's plastic. I think you'd have to use the, the regular dies. So that's when I need you to go back and get the gears that we were looking at in Michael's, remember? Yeah, yeah, those those yeah, no, we need those. Because I do, I want to get, uh, because we drink uh, seltzer. We drink, uh, you know, no caffeine, no chemical, it's just carbonated water and natural flavors, nothing else, no sodium, no nothing. And uh, we drink those. So I can always just save the cans, cut them open. 
Acquiring minds want to know. Wanda has the same one you have, honey. Oh, the big shot? Yeah. So you can take it all the way out. That is cool. And then if you were super patient. Uh, which I'm not. You'd wanna... have to glue it down to some cardstock that wasn't embossed. Yeah, you can Stare. cut and emboss cans. Yeah, I, I know we can. I don't think we can do it on the embossing folder, though. She says no, but it works fine. Does it really? Do you want to try it? The embossing folder works fine, or do you need the dies to actually do the aluminum cans, Lori? Oh. I don't buy it. There's what the paper looks like. Oh, this paper is epic. <laughs> like, it's so cool. And it feels amazing. Mm-hmm. It, like, totally changes the, like, almost like the chemical makeup of paper yeah. when you send it through that thing. Oh. Oh, it stretches it out. It, it, oh, it's just nice. She's, uh, Lori says, I just cover one side of the card and tape it down. Okay. Then it's just like aluminum is the one thick piece of card. Okay. So do you have. Yeah, I do actually. Hold on. Right. Well, you can cut it because right. I'll cut myself trying to do it. Okay. So while well, Art Bitch is getting some actual loot, well, aluminium can. <laughs> uh, we'll get some more paper. 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 So I guess it really doesn't matter what the paper looks like because you won't see it. Or will you? Yeah, you will because it will be the front and back. Um, Come here. There we go. Are you going to send it in the mail tomorrow, Lori? <laughs> okay. See how a pro does it. Not a pro at all. <laughs> I'm just always afraid I'm going to break stuff. Okay. This is extremely sharp. Well, I only need it to be that big. And did you... Is it sticky? No. Okay. Whoops. My bad. Um, Here, use the scissors to cut it. I'm trying to find my tape. What am I cutting? The metal? Yeah. With scissors? Yeah. Ching. Awesome. I don't know where my tape is. Use the tacky glue. Tacky glue. 
Hacky glue? Or a P6000 or something. No. Because it's got to be like that. Well, Lori, your thousand of hours of video watching is a thousand <laughs> hours more than I've done. <laughs> All right, yeah, Mama B says, run it through the machine a few times. Okay. This is the fun where my tape ran off of you. What tape? Um, Like scotch tape? Something super sticky to hold it the hell down. Uh, I've got duct tape right here. No. That's kind of masking tape. I don't know that it'll work very well. I had like regular scotch tape, and then it got used for something, and it never got put the f back. Yeah, don't blame me for that. It stuff. is your fault. <sighs> it's always your fault. Get used to it. Yeah, Spanky. Let's get those thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Well, apparently it's not there. <laughs> what? Uh, the fact that you're flinging stuff around. Well, that's how I got it off of the card. <laughs> Thank you. Be careful, huh? Thrift honey. store purchase. For having rando roll of tape in it. Be careful. I don't think that's going to hold. And maybe I will cut myself tonight. You shush! <laughs> Accidentally on purpose. Mm -mm -mm. Right, stay. Use washi tape. Huh? I don't think washi tape would stick. Yeah, washi tape doesn't even really stick to itself. I don't. I don't it see. always needs help with glue. Washi tape's just purdy. It is very purdy. But Moo was thinking the same thing. What, washi tape? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So maybe we've just gotten a bad raw deal on washi tape. Mm, I don't know. Could be. When did the Big Shot Plus come out? Uh, what, August? I don't know. <laughs> Jacqueline says, be careful. Don't know. Because that was out of my budget, so I didn't really worry about it. Yes. The only reason I have this one is because 60, well, no. Yeah. 60% 60 60 off. Yeah. off. No. No. It no, we didn't get it. We got it from Amazon, I think. Yeah. It but was... it was the equivalent to the same price as 60% off coupon yeah. would, would have given us. Yeah. <laughs> Linda says, see, I can't trust washi tape. No, but it is pretty. It's kind of like a blonde. Oh, God. <laughs> What are you calling me pretty? Can't can't expect it to do much, but it sure is pretty to look at. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry to all the blondes out there. I wow. couldn't resist. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know whether should I uh, whether I should laugh or be offended. Oh, put your big boy panties on. You'll be <laughs> all right. Yeah, Jacqueline says uh, some washi tape is crap. Wow. See, this is where we need the grinder set up so I can smooth some of this stuff down. Or actually, a disc sander would be really good. Yeah, as you take all the embossing out of it, trying no, to take I, the sharp edges no, off. No, I, or you would do it before. It's on a different plane, honey. On a different plane. <laughs> Let me see it. <laughs> He's such a punk ass. I do my best. Wow, that is wicked. I'd love to see the other side with the seltzer Take logo. it off. That's what uh, she said. This is just all experimentation. I'm taking it off. I'm trying to, anyway. 
<clears throat> I, I'm, I'm trying to turn it over. Just don't cut yourself, Duffy. What? He'll be the, he'll be the one to cut himself. Honey, we gotta go to the ER. There with foil, foil, you don't need paper, or is it with the aluminum can you don't need paper? Uh, with the aluminum can, I'm guessing you don't need paper. You're confusing me. Sorry. No, it's thick enough where it doesn't need paper. I get that. I don't know why you used paper. This is what I thought she said to do. <laughs> I'm tired. But it's a very embossed piece of paper. It's very pretty. It, it's embossed all the way through in some cases, but... That's all a part of the show. See Don't. if Schweppes would put a little effort into their cans. It would help make it grippy and pretty. And it would save us all time from having to actually emboss it. We would just be able to cut the can and move on. Yeah, but see, that's not how that works. <laughs> the design of an aluminum can is very structural. It's very, like... They could take 10 seconds and run it through something. To it, yeah, but the if they can. do that, it's going to affect the strength of the design. And it's also going to flatten out if you put anything uh, 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 carbonated in it. Uh, so it would be a waste of time. Nah. See, Lori says, right, PJ, you get a twofer. <laughs> Yay, I got a twofer. <laughs> You're out of the frame. I'm trying to take tape off of it. But you're Maybe doing they, it out of the frame. They don't need to see how to take tape off a can. But when I'm the sure insurance company needs proof of how you sliced your thumb off, <laughs> you need to be able to show them this. Mm -hmm. It's evidence. Yeah, that I'm a moron. No more so than I am. I mean, come on. I swear I'm not a blonde. No, she is not, I assure you. Don't cut yourself. You're making... Don't you do it. Don't you tell me what I can and cannot do. <laughs> See, now look what you did. Carrie P, little C, is getting all cracked up. <laughs> you gotta be considerate to people. You can't make them laugh I'm that loud. Sorry. They've got neighbors. They've got loved ones. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> or lol. <laughs> oh. My bad. Where did I put the, um... Okay. What, where did you put the what? Use your big girl words. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, Use um, your big girl words. You can do it. Brain. Shut the <laughs> F up and maybe a thought could form. <laughs> your mother should have named you Brooke. What the hell? Because you're always babbling. <sighs> really? Yeah. I thought I was funny, and that's all that mattered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you do. <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure out where I put the um. She's trying to figure out where she put the um. Wood grain embossing folder. Does it? Has disappeared. It has left the building? Into the nether. I don't know where I put it. Oh my goodness gracious. How could it have gone that far that fast? <laughs> it ran. It ran. <laughs> oh my. You know, it's got grain. It expands and contracts. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, it got up and it walked away, except it didn't. It just expanded and contracted away. Mm. Yeah. Wood, wood joke. Yeah, a bad one. Yeah, I know. I know. That is freaky. I don't know where it went. And that's going to bother. There it is. <laughs> <sighs> you mean the one that was sitting there on top the whole time? It wasn't on top. <laughs> Screw you, dude. <laughs> All right. Oh no. Someone's going to get a cleaning bill because someone fell on the floor and is rolling around laughing. <laughs> Sorry, Kim Marie. 
will gladly pay your dry cleaning. Mm. <laughs> I'm do that one. I am terribly, terribly sorry. Mm -mm. Do not hurt yourself. Shut up. I've told you. Stop telling me what <laughs> to do. See, this is why you need a leatherman. No. You need a leather woman. No, I don't. You know, Tim Leatherman's a pretty badass guy. I have no idea what you're talking about. He's the founder of Leatherman Tools. Okay. The creator of the Leatherman Super Tool. Super Tool 3000, and many more. You say so, dude. I do. Every multi tool in this house is a Leatherman. All 17 of them. You say I have problems. I work with tools for a freaking living. No, you don't. I used to. Okay, there's the operative word. Used to. I still use tools all the time, though. I fix computers. I use a, a different set of tools than I used to, but yeah. But they're still very well needed. I do use my Leatherman every day, though. Mm -hmm. Even on Saturdays and Sundays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kim Marie wants to know, PJ, are you being a, a bossy bessy tonight? Yes. Um, no. I mean, now he's lying. Like, it's not like I'm Penny DeLuca. Which I love, by the way. That's a Linda McAllister reference. Mm. Bazinga. Alrighty then. Get in there, turd. Good night, Jacqueline. Good night, Jacqueline. Oh. Yeah, I like that one. Holy cow. That's wicked smart. Wicked smart. Wow. I love it. I wonder what Jacqueline's uh, favorite TV program uh, is. Because she said she left us for it. <laughs> I mean, and I'm okay with that. I mean... You know, if Firefly were still on the air, <laughs> we wouldn't be on the air right now at all. Speak for yourself, Spanky. Well, who's gonna who's gonna hit the boys with the buttons? Hit the boys I with the know. buttons? I don't know. Who's gonna hit the buttons? Ooh. Your mom seems to do all right by herself. Yeah, but you refuse to push buttons by yourself. Because <laughs> you're an ignorant fart. Oh, I'm ignorant. You're it, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jamie says, "Rub some ink over it." No. Wanna. <laughs> okay. Uh. No. Wanna. <laughs> Kim Marie wants to wants to know: Do all the die cutters make music when you use them? <laughs> yeah, I feel like a little the little monkey. But, yeah. She, she see she doesn't have her headphones in tonight, so mm. she she can't hear what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, I can't hear it. <laughs> I can't hear. Let it. the beat down commence. You hush, mom. You're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Arlena's in the house. Hey, What's Arlena. up? Mm. 
See what happens. You can do it. No, not really. Come on. Being a butt. <laughs> Good Looks like a Japanese flag almost. I am not of the knowing. Go for it. Ooh. I'll never get used to that sound. Nothing. I need safety goggles. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, that's it cracked it. It always does. <laughs> Hate that. Oh man. And then I had it the wrong way. Oh god. But I embossed the paper. Oh jeez. <laughs> Honey. What? That's why you cracked the plastic. It did it on the, all the other ones. Yeah, but it didn't bend like that. It didn't flex like that. Well, we'll just Oh, my go God. Away. Whatever. <laughs> oh, flip it around this time, honey. Whatever. <laughs> that just means you got to buy me a new one. Oh, you, come on now. Oh. Got to buy the new ones. Oh, oh, oh. Lincoln. You hush, Lincoln. Shh. Shut your Bible. Ooh. Dogs. Uh, see, and then it did one. I hate this thing. <laughs> what? Get. I don't think it needs to be both plates, honey. I, I really don't. What are you talking about? For the directions even show it. Okay, all right. You too can read. <laughs> Ooh, Lori says, gotta run, but just made you, uh, uh, just made you envy with tin foil die cuts that are embossed and inked. My, or tin can embossed, uh, embossed, yeah. Wow, that's cool. Kim Marie says, I want a die cutter like that. The music makes it feel powerful. Yeah, yeah, I, it's 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 an implant. It's a modification. So, what music are you playing that I'm gonna have to hurt you for doing that? Uh, wake me up before you go go. No, no, I'm not. I'm not playing Wham. Um, it, it's just some open source, uh, like not open source, royalty free, uh, uh like action scene music. Mm. You would know if you had your headphones in, you know. Hot. Yes, it is, but oh well. Embrace it, it's February. Do you want a slice of pie? Will you stop? Because <laughs> <laughs> I do not mind facilitating that request. Alright. So. Scooch. Okay, Wanda says it does need to be both plates. Use a pokey tool in the little tiny holes to get it out of the die. Maybe. Yeah. This hey, Candy Tiggs. Hey there, new subby. Thank you. Hey, Candy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> she says you guys are cracking me up. Yeah, well. <laughs> well, thank you. Eh. 
you know, I, I just can't wait until we can actually move. Uh, what is it? Less than two weeks away. Something Mar- like that. March 7th, unless we can uh, move it up. Uh, we're hoping to move it up like March 1st or 2nd. And um, we'll know in, I guess, 24 hours. So, Because we're going to have a, our own art studio. It's going to be awesome. I just need a bigger corner. A little be bigger. It'll it be better. It needs to be way bigger. And it'll be ours. Because I can't even move. I got so much stuff. Yeah. Speaking of moving, got to start packing this stuff up. So probably f- this will probably be the last Wednesday. This Friday will probably be the last Friday. Yeah. Until after the move and can at least get some of this stuff craft related unpacked so that you know not just sitting here and you're looking at my desk or whatever and i'm crying because i have nothing to do (laughs) so you guys will get a nice little respite from us for a little while yeah we will uh we will be doing a uh live stream to show you guys the new house when we move in um, uh, I will definitely, uh, uh, post that on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash epiphany craft studio. I believe, uh, <laughs> it's, there's a link there somewhere. I don't know. Just, oh, I have faith your in your master. ability to Google foo. So, uh, yeah. Epiphany craft on f- uh, Facebook. We will be live streaming that. Um, and of course we will be back. We're not going anywhere for long. We're just moving. And yep. as soon as we have the art studio unpacked, at uh, least partially. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All the important bits. And uh, ooh, Kim Marie says, "Update your address, Carrie. I'm gonna go through stamps." <laughs> Be still, my heart. <laughs> Finding so many new crafters on the lives, love it. Yeah, thank you, Candy. Yeah, there's a lot of good people in here. I would definitely recommend Facebook. Yeah, thank you, Mama B. She says Facebook. Uh, which prompted Nightbot to, there's the page right there. So thank you. As soon as uh, we go to closing that next day, I'll update the address. That way stuff can just start going straight there yeah. instead of relying on the um, post office to actually forward the mail correctly. Kelly Rickman's in the house. Hey, Kelly, What's showed up? off your painting papers earlier. We did. We loved them. Surprised you didn't feel the... You know, tug of the universe because somebody mentioned you. Because I know you had mentioned us earlier. At least that's what I heard. Yep, that's what you heard. Yeah, she said it's a piff. It's an epiphany. Hi, PJ. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to explain to her that you know, hi and thank you. Cause that was like really cool. But um, epiphany is is carry. Uh, it's her. It's not me. Now I'm just her tr- trusty art bitch, but uh, it's it's her. It's that one right there. Other way. Well, yeah. If I point this way, that's not you. Even though it is where you are. If I point this way, it shows up uh, pointing uh, at your screen. Because okay. you so. I have a mind. Candy, we're in Maryland. We're unfortunately staying in Maryland, a.k.a. the armpit of the East Coast. Um, Well, the armpit of the East Coast is the eastern shore of Maryland, to be precise. It's still Maryland. Well, yeah. Thank you for that ear slapping. PJ, Linda says the link doesn't work. You got to click on it again because YouTube's a bastard. So, if you just copy it into your into your uh, your uh, you know your just Control C Command C whatever uh, right click hit copy and uh, there you go. So Friday during uh, Cranky Crafters, I will be breaking out the Lino kit that Moo sent me. So and cutting your finger off more than likely. <laughs> and uh, so that I've been wanting to. Um, Try it for a while, but didn't want to do it unless I knew Moo was going to be around. So hopefully she'll be there Friday, Mooena, Friday, and uh, I will give it a whirl and see what happens. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. 
Moo makes it look so easy. She does, yeah. It almost looks like she's cutting through butter, and I'll probably be sitting here struggling. <laughs> oh, Mama B says, I have Lino, too. We can do both do it uh, on the stream. Okay. So Friday on Cranky Crafters, we will be doing uh, Lino, apparently. You know, when I got the kit that Moo sent me, you know, I was so excited and was looking through it. Well, when it got here, the box looked like it had been opened. Which it had been by customs. And, you know, I'm sitting there going through everything to make sure I had everything. And I was looking at the picture and I'm like, oh, okay. And I start putting stuff back and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, there's SOBs took the blade the blades because i could not for the life of me find it and pj's like oh no and he's like well contact somebody and i'm like who am i gonna contact you know ghostbusters well this thing is in there right it wasn't until I, I actually read, <laughs> but this <We're> idiots. <laughs> comes off, this unscrews, <laughs> look what's inside, blade. Chisels. So, yeah, I felt like a ding <laughs> Hey, I, I overlooked it too, so, yeah. Uh, Wanda wants to know, do you already have your designs figured out? Um, no. I kind of know what I want to do. It's just a matter of uh, getting her done. I, there are little... Not that one. Not that one. Get out of there. As soon as I can find them. Down in here. Brayer. That's a heavy duty brayer, too. Uh -oh. oh, there they are. I think they were it. Yeah. They got little itty bitty round ones that can be used as stamps because they've got like adhesive on the one side. So I was contemplating trying. And the more I'm thinking about it, I might not be doing this because I think if it's small, it's going to be harder because it's small and it's more, it's going to be harder to get control, especially for a noob. Yeah. So I will probably do like the size, but I, now I don't know what I want to do because I was going to do like a Celtic knot. Ooh. And I, because I thought that would be a pretty stamp, but yeah, I think I'll have to. <laughs> Hold off on doing the little, the little things, and mm -hmm. work my way up to that. A lot of people are asking, where did you get that? Uh, Muena uh, got that for me. She bought it through Amazon.uk. Dot yes. Dot co. Dot uk. Whatever. Yeah. And uh, so I don't know if it's on the regular Amazon. Haven't looked, but it comes with. Like essentially everything you need to start. I mean, you got ink and this thing <laughs> and this thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Did you know that Mama B is calling you a dill? <gasps> well, it's she's not a dill weed. No, she's calling you her dill. Her daughter-in-law. Yeah. Can you believe her? I know. <laughs> but it comes with a couple of those and and they sell lino at uh hobby lobby and michaels right i have never seen it oh really okay a couple of those then there's a strip and then the little circles and then this thing which is so while you're ah. working on it you can hold this instead of trying to hold that which <laughs> thank goodness <laughs> that would hurt. And some um, block printing ink. A brayer. Mama B actually found the link to it on Amazon. Cool. Yeah. And this is to 
hold the corner, although I don't know. I think it would slide almost as much, definitely on the glass anyway. But yeah, Moo was very, very generous in sending me that. I think she just wants to laugh when she sees blood <laughs> splurt <laughs> everywhere. I'm going to have to be your bandage putter on her. Yeah, you're going to have to do something. I've got the band-aids here. Because I am accident prone as it is. If I don't burn myself at least once when I'm making dinner, something's wrong. Mm -mm -mm. So. Hey, Azure Muse. That ought to be interesting. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. So I want to take uh, just a minute or two, and I want to thank uh, everyone of our new subbies that is uh, coming over from uh, Dances with Pitbulls, Rebecca's channel. Rebecca put a video out earlier this week where uh, she talked about, you know, like, I think it was 10 uh, artist channels you should follow. Mm. And we were on the list. And, like, she said just such kind things about us and how we were hilarious and everything. And I was like, oh, that is so cool. But within, like, the last 24 hours, we've gotten, like, 30 followers, 30 subscribers, rather. So That's like, pretty good for us. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you very much, Rebecca. That was extremely kind and certainly didn't have to do that but we do appreciate it and just heads up i also did follow all of the others that were on cool. her list yeah i was at work watching that on my phone and it's like yeah i i hate doing anything on the phone to begin with because it's, it's so small and you do have like a 5.5 inch Yeah, phone, but I'm you know a decade that. older and my eyes aren't what they used to be. So <laughs> It's got bigger resolution. You can change the resolution. Dude, <laughs> I don't live with my phone up my butt like you do. I don't have, I still don't have all my apps reinstalled. That's neither here nor there. You're just waiting for your phone to go bananas again. <laughs> That's all. Uh-oh. What? Crystal says, Melissa, you have created a monster. I do need an art bitch terribly, though. I have no <laughs> idea how many painting papers I have made in the last three days. Ah, Crystal has been, uh... Infected. She's now joined Kim Marie in the... Oh my god, when will it stop painting paper? <laughs> yeah, it, I don't know. I I must not do it right, because... Doing even 20 of them, like I did that one stream for Miss Wanda, it was like, feels like I've done a thousand. Oh, I've only oh. done seven. <laughs> I think it's because I'm too slow at it or something. I don't know. No, you just take your time on it and you put a lot of forethought into it and it's great. I love them. Um, the ones, I mean, there's no way, like the ones that uh, Kim Marie sent you, there's no way that those... That she churned just them out. Just churned them out like that. I mean, <laughs> she put time into those. And they're amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just love them, yeah. I, I think also, too, because we don't have a lot of flat surfaces to lay any of the stuff out. So once you get to, like, 10 or 12, it's like, okay, where do we put any more? We need to get a bakery shelf, uh, like a bakery rack. For uh, well, I showed you, you Uline has them. I'm not paying sixteen hundred dollars for a bakery <laughs> rack. I want to find a bakery that's going out of business or upgrading and then yeah, buy their used stuff. Yeah, good luck with that. If anyone has a bakery rack or knows where I can get one on the cheap, or please you let own me know. a bakery and you're wanting to go out of business, yeah, Kim Marie's cupcakes, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, uh, we, we are looking, we're going to be looking for a lot of stuff and, uh, it's really exciting. I can't wait. It, it doesn't seem imaginable that we're going to be homeowners in a month. It's just sick. Candy. All I can say is give it a whirl. There are so many different ways of doing painty papers. Heat gun. And they are fun regardless of what you do, but there are some that it's, it's just easier to kind of do more with it. Like you can use shaving cream to put, you, you know, your colors on and then you put your paper on top, yeah. jelly plate. 
We did that on last uh, on the last show. If you didn't check that out, go check that out. Uh, it's or if you playlist. have like a craft, like a silicone type craft mat, or something that's tempered glass, even, and <laughs> you know, a couple of these. All you have to do is put it on the glass, hit it with a little water, hit your paper with a little water, and you know, then hit it with the heat gun, and it looks like. Depending on the color choices, obviously, too, sometimes. Uh, it can almost look like tea-stained papers by the time you're done with it. So, you know, it's just, it's not hard. And I also Ooh. found my marbles. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> found my marbles. No. I got these at um, Goodwill. Whole 99 cents. So now I can do marbles to make marbled. Painty papers <laughs> like M Mama B did. Nice. Wanda says, "Do you guys have Costco? They have four shelf rack, ro uh, four shelf rolling rack for under ninety dollars. That's not bad. Nice. All right. Cool. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I got something. What's this, uh, K Kelly? Why are you calling me a, a an art vamp or whatever the heck you are calling me, <laughs> and insinuating that I need a black cape and pink socks? A Moo also sent me pink socks, so I do have them, and I do wear them, and they are very comfortable. <laughs> but I don't get like the whole art vamp thing. I just don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, here. Candy, I love stamps. Um. Hand me that pink thing over there, would you? And then the case up there, and the wherever that gray one went. Just shush, Sanjay. You're doing the giveaway? <laughs> no. All right, here's one container. This was one bag of stamps from a Goodwill up in Pennsylvania. It was Pennsylvania. it was like 14 bucks and there's quite a few down in there. Then put that back please. Yeah, yeah. Then in this one we got some rando ones that I really like so I keep them on top. But then these are all Stampin' Up stamps that I also found at Goodwill and they were super cheap and I got, I don't know, I think it was like 12 or 14 different sets of those and then thank you where did the CD case one go? CD case one with the clingy stamps up there also, at the same time that I got the Stampin' Up! stamps, they also had tons of cling stamps. And they were super cheap. And it, I think they must have all come from the same person. Um, and again, super cheap, like 99 cents for... I think for the entire haul that we got the first time around, it was 33 bucks. Yeah. And that included a toaster oven. Yeah. So, you know, the Stampin' Up! ones, um, none of them had been used. And only a few of them had actually been assembled. Uh, had to go through and put the other ones together, which I quite enjoyed that. So that was fun. The cling stamps, I had to put them into new CD cases and then I did the stamped images so I'd know what they were without having to pop it open. Uh -huh. But, you know, I I love stamps. I've loved stamps since I was a little kid and they are just so expensive to buy new, like going into Hobby Lobby or going into Michael's or even Joanne's and looking at the stamps and it's like, you see one you really like, and it's like 13 bucks. It's like, are you kidding me? Because huh? they had one at Joanne's that looked, I need to put 
trackers on these things <laughs> that looked exactly like this, but it was a stamp. And I was like, ooh. And I was like, yeah, I'm not I'm not paying fourteen dollars for a stamp. I, I just as much as I love them, I can't. I just can't do it. But somebody's whining and ready to go to bed. I I said one thing, and I said that it's nine thirty. <laughs> That's all I said. Yeah, but he'll sit up till eleven and watch YouTube videos. I will not. I'll eat my pie and go to bed. <laughs> oh no, Mary was a stamping up demo for ten years. Uh, see, I I couldn't do something like that because I'd end up buying everything I had a chance to get my hands on. It's just like I couldn't work at Hobby Lobby. I wouldn't get a paycheck. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I couldn't work at Michael's. I wouldn't have a paycheck. I don't know how those women do it. I I really don't, unless they aren't craft people. I don't know. Hmm. So, But if I can get slightly decent at carving, whether it be lino or, like, as your muse says, with erasers or even... I think you can do it with some of the different types of foam. Maybe I can make my own. I don't know. Gotta love that mom's pimping out her own channel hardcore tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and I do have the um, scan and cut. And that does do a uh, cling stamp. So I at least have that for cling stamps. But I can't wait to have you set uh, have that set up for you all you the time. You can't. You can't really get the detail out of a cling stamp that you can. I mean, you can. At least not something that Scan and Cut would make. There's no. I don't see how there's any way to get different depths in into that image. So it, it's going to be very limited. But. AliExpress is your friend, too. That's all I can say. Yeah, we've been holding off on ordering anything from Ali because... Well, I still have stuff pending. I don't know this. Seriously? <laughs> oh, man. You know, we're going to have to, like... They're probably not going to send it from here to the new house. Why won't they? I don't know. You forward your mail, they got to send it. Yeah, true. They have to send it for up to a year. Mm, gotcha. Yeah, the scan and cuts are cool. Um... Steep learning curve. Very it, steep learning curve. And it's got a clunky user interface. Yeah, the user interface, like if you if you do the web thing with it, is very crippled. And unless you know, what is it, Illustrator? Yeah, Adobe Illustrator. And how to do vector images, it's very hard. You're either going to be going to different websites with people who are good at that and buying their images or you're going to be spending a lot of time either learning their clunky interface or learning um illustrator or because even when you find an image that you really like depending on what you want that image for and how you want it cut out it may or may not do what you want, or you're going to sit there for hours. And that's even with someone who is good at Illustrator and stuff, and you still can't get the thing to cut stuff out. No. I, I, I've wanted to uh, uh, take it out back. Uh, with a hammer? <laughs> with a baseball bat. I mean, office space style. Yeah. Yeah. PC's lower than that. No, screw that. Just... <laughs> But I mean, it yes, it is very good. Like Candy said, for fussy cutting, I mean, you can just sh send that thing right through, and you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. But and it does cut, I think, better than the crickets. Yeah, yeah, it's. But on the other hand, cricket, you can go and get all those different packs with all those different images in it. I mean, granted, there might be a pack that you really love that one image. Don't want anything else. It's kind of like buying an album or a CD and back in the day when you had to yeah. buy the whole thing and you couldn't just do a digital download of that one song you really, really like. You had to buy the whole thing. <laughs> but, you know, and if you don't have the money for that, then you're really kind of out. 
with the Cricut because you can't scan anything in. No. At least not with the older ones. I don't know what their new ones I can do. I still don't think they have a scanner. I don't know. I haven't looked at them since I got the scan and cut. Yeah. And uh, uh, Kelly has a, a good one. She says, have you found a YouTube video on how to use it? Yeah, but it's all by this Fay fan Balzer woman. And she's okay. It's just that I want someone who isn't a paid rep of yeah. scan and cut. I want telling real me world. what they actually think of this thing and how they get around the clunky software and how they get anything that's more than some of the simplistic things or the stuff that's already built in. Because a lot of the different videos I've seen, she uses the stuff that's either built into the machine or is on the website. And it's like, I, I don't want any of that. <laughs> so, yeah, I've made stencils with the scan and cut. That, that it can do halfway decent. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, sometimes the scan and cut, unless you don't really care about the mat that you're using and you're okay with it, like getting eaten by the blade, when, at least with mine, when I tried to do stencils, anytime it was a straight line, it was a perfect, beautiful cut. But as soon as there was yeah. any sort of turn, arc, curve to that line, it just was like, yeah, not doing it. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, well, okay. Kelly also says, uh, oh, I see. Have you tried the Brothers website? See, Brother actually just links to the Fay Fan Baller mm -hmm. videos. So it's a catch-22. Yep. I like I'm the I'm the kind of person I want to see like I want to see if you can actually set it up as a printer as like a CNC type printer in Illustrator because if that's possible that might be the solve uh, the, the I don't you know, the know that it. the machine's smart enough to actually talk to your computer. It's got USB. It's got to do some kind of client server relationship. I think all you can do is file transfer. Ugh. I don't think it. I don't think Ugh. it's smart enough. Bleh. But. Yeah, it is what it is. Figure it out. Now, I know if I was into anything with fabric, like quilting, Brother Scan and Cut is probably going to be your best bet because it will cut through some thick stuff. So, I have the second one. She's got the Scan and Cut 2 CM650W. Yeah, <laughs> what he said. So, I don't know. But like maybe when I can have it out to where I don't end up burying it with other craft stuff because I don't have room and can sit down and really fight with it. It's like I even have the embossing kit, but that has... I was looking through the directions on that because I was going to do it in a video and it's like, yeah, uh, that's like quantum physics right now. I can't, I can't focus <laughs> on that. Yeah, we need to we need to take time and sit down and just learn it. Yeah, because once we learn it, there's no stopping us. Because we've got a lot of great ideas mm -hmm. for uh, like little wares to sell, and uh, we just can't figure out how to get it to do it. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. So, um, but I think uh, somebody wants this pie. So yes. I guess we better get on up out of here. Pie. Uh. Candy says, uh, I'm impressed, Patrick. Uh, 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 okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Taxes. Uh, Kelly wants to get one when she gets her taxes done. Yeah. And maybe they'll even have a newer version out by the time you're ready to get one. Yeah. You can only get better, hopefully. So. Yeah. Uh, Sherry's uh, saying, uh, what software does the uh, Cameo use? I don't know. Don't have a Cameo. I don't know. I don't know that. I know some of them are like really crippled <laughs> when yeah. it comes to software. I, the scan and cut, you don't even need to hook it to your computer as long as you're content with the stuff that it comes pre-programmed with and... If you're okay with 
scanning whatever you want in there in there you know but if you're trying to do anything that you're downloading or finding on the web or whatever that's where the scan and cut is a little bit better with some of that because you can import it to their online web uh, software and then it goes through the cloud or you can download it to your computer and then transfer it over but it's yeah it's annoying yeah. at best sherry says i've heard it the uh that the scanning cut is really difficult yes. to use. yeah yes yeah, it, it is. is like it's definitely not plug and play by any stretch of the imagination I, unless you're the only thing you're really worried about doing is a lot of fussy cutting then then you're plug and play but if you're trying to do anything else you're gonna you're gonna be sitting there pulling your hair out for a little bit well i guess that's uh a show yeah all right well thank you for for watching another fine live stream from epiphany craft studio that's carrie not me i'm <laughs> I'm just the art bitch, and I'm happy with that. So, uh, yeah, you guys have fun. Uh, check out epiphanycraft.com if uh, you want to check up on all things carry. Uh, hit the, the the like button down there somewhere if uh, you like the uh, like to give it a thumbs up or not like button. <laughs> thumbs up. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you don't already. We'll see you guys on Friday when we will be uh, rocking it old school. I know with uh, Mama B. So stay tuned for that and uh, more on Cranky Crafters. Later, taters. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>